Right, we got a fairly short one here, guys, but it's some good news for a change. This good news is thanks to the endless pressure being put on the anti-British broadcasting corporation by you guys and everyone else. As we know, the BBC are in a bad way, hated by everyone for the endless shenanigans we have seen for years now. Just look at the far-left, central London-centric cowpat they spew out as TV shows along with their constant attempts to destroy British culture and history. I've said it before and I'll say it again, they are the most untrue trusted bunch of snivelling shit weasels the world has ever known and likely will. Well, the good news is that the new head of the BBC has accepted the plain and simple fact that the BBC need to move to a subscription-based model because the licence fee is finished, with reports claiming the Tories could decriminalise it in the next few weeks and the BBC are starting to prepare for a subscription-based model like Netflix. So expect that abhorrent disgrace of a film called Cuties to be shown on the BBC not long after that happens. Now, on top of that, the new BBC boss, Tim Davey, has said he will crack down hard on the BBC presenters who sit there throwing out their far-left political bile on social media that we are all sick of hearing at this point. So hopefully we will see the likes of Emily Maitpiss and Gary Lineker sacked very soon. We can dream at least. Of course, this is the BBC saying it. We don't know if it's actually going to happen. But anyway, a few outlets have picked up on this story today, so we will take a look at this one from the Daily Mail, which headlines, BBC's new Director General Tim Davey is open to replacing license fee with Netflix-style subscription. The BBC's new Director General is open to implementing a subscription model to replace the broadcaster's license fee, it was reported last night. Tim Davey has reportedly been told to come up with a viable funding model to replace the fee when he takes up his new role this week. A Conservative minister told the Daily Telegraph that there is real optimism at the BBC that it can thrive without the fee. Well, eventually, it's going to have no choice because at the end of the day, most of the British public absolutely absolutely hate the BBC and the licence fee just as much. Add to that the fact that the BBC are now forcing over 75s to pay it, they are just turning more and more people against them and of course, like I said, the licence fee. So it's going to have no choice but to thrive without the licence fee, otherwise it's going to end up in the shit, probably where it belongs. Among the measures reportedly being considered by Mr Davey 53 is a subscription model service similar to Netflix or Amazon Prime. And then we will really see how many people want to watch the utter bile that comes out of the BBC. I would like to bet it's not going to be very many of them. The minister told The Telegraph there is a real optimism that the BBC will come up with a palatable alternative to the licence fee themselves. Yeah, they already tried that as I covered the other day when they said they were going to turn the BBC licence fee into like a cancel tax. I guess they have been told that is never going to happen, so now they have accepted they are going to have to go to a subscription-based model. Tim Davey seems open to the idea of a subscription model likely because he knows he has no choice. If Mr Davey is unable to come up with a viable model, he risks facing a battle when the BBC Charter is renewed in 2027. It is understood that Mr Davey will not address the licence fee row when he makes his first speech in his new role later this week. But BBC insiders told The Telegraph that Mr Davey is concerned the broadcaster is creating too much left-wing London-centric content, which is not something he should be concerned about. It's actually a fact at this point. We all know that is exactly what the BBC are doing. And with their recent developments, including £100 million investment and 20% quotas, it's only going to continue. Mr Davey is also planning to launch a crackdown on BBC presenters who express their opinions on social media according to reports. So, like I said, Emily Maitpiss and Gary Lineker, I'm sure they are talking about you there. It came amid reports that ministers are set to announce the decriminalisation of the licence fee within weeks, which is something I'm sure we will all be cheering when it actually happens. From 2022, people who dodge their licence fee payments will face civil penalties rather than criminal prosecutions, which explains why the BBC have been investing millions of pounds in chasing the over 75-year-olds. They're going to try and have as many as they can in the next two years, I would bet. The BBC licence fee is civil penalty bill is due for its second reading in Parliament in November. A BBC spokesman told The Telegraph the licence fee is a way of funding the BBC until at least 2027, and our focus is on providing the best possible value to the public who pay for us, which is a 
fucking complete and utter laugh. What world are these people living in? The public do not get value for what they pay for in regards to the BBC in any sense of the word because the BBC are against everything the public want and their history as we all know. What world is this BBC spokesman actually living in? You guys will have to let me know down in the comments because I am completely dumbfounded. But I will tell you something, I really can't wait for this BBC licence fee civil penalty bill to go through. The Tories will use their 80 seat majority to make it happen so it's almost a dead certain at this point unless they show themselves to be weaker than they already are and act like a piss poor bunch of snivelling shit weasels which is always possible. Now I do feel that questions need to be asked about whether the BBC will even survive with a subscription model. Personally I don't think they will. I think there's not enough people watching them as it is to make it viable and maybe that is why the BBC have been so dead against it for all this time. Obviously now they know the jig is up and they don't really have a choice. The government is coming for them and rightly so because the people of this country absolutely despise them. I mean just take a look at the past four years in relation to Brexit to see the left wing London centric bullshit that we have been talking about in this article. Then add to that the last few months where they have been race baiting like their name was David fucking Lammy I'm sure you would agree the BBC needs to end. Let it move to a subscription model and then let it go down the toilet and we will flush it. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr Verhofstadt against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>